the life cycle of a task in apache ant now we are considering the life cycle of a task the method executing the task here and the setter for the message attribute uh, uh, here the uh, step one the xml element that uh, contains uh, the tag repos corresponding to the task get converted to an uh, unknown element at pass time this unknown element gets placed in a list within a target object uh, or recursively within another unknown element the step two uh, when the target is executed uh, each unknown element is uh, invoked using the perform method uh, uh, this instantiate the task this uh, this means that task only gets inst instantiated at runtime uh, step three uh, the task get uh, references to its project uh, and location inside the build file uh, via its inherited project and location uh, uh, variables. Uh, if uh, step four, uh, if the user is specified, then uh, ID attribute uh, to to this task. The project registers a reference to this newly created task at runtime. Uh, step five. Uh, the task gets a reference to the target it belongs uh, to via its inherited target variable. Step six, uh, init method is called at runtime. Step seven, uh, all child elements uh, of the XML, XML element correspond to this task are created via this element create XXX method uh, or instantiated and added to this task via it's uh, add xxx methods at runtime child elements corresponding to add configured xxx are created then at this point but the actual add configured method is not called uh, step 8 uh, all attributes of this task get set via its uh, corresponding uh, set uh, xxx methods at runtime Um, step nine uh, the content character data sections inside the, uh, the XML element uh, corresponding to this task is added to the task via its uh, add text method at runtime step 10 uh, all attributes of child elements uh, get set via its uh, uh, set via their corresponding uh, set xxx methods uh, at runtime. If child element uh, step eleven, if uh, child elements of the XML element corresponding to this task have been created for for add configured xxx methods, those methods get in work now uh, step 12 uh, the execute uh, uh, the execute uh, method is called at runtime 
uh, if uh, target one and target two depend both depends on target three then running and target one tar uh, target two will run all tasks in target three twice we can consider this example here uh, here uh, now uh, this is the uh, end of my presentation thank you very much for watching it